live look at first alert Doppler and it's a mess. You can see all the different colors painted on here and now just because it shows snow, sleet or freezing rain, you really could have any kind of wintry mix out there. Williamsboro to Norlina back into Granville and Vance counties now with some heavier snow showers, some snow flying in Boynton. As you look down here in Roxborough, right here, we're really seeing some of this moisture wrap in down to Orange County. Uh, on the back side of that, the heavier snow is falling, and then that wintry mix through Durham County. Uh, it's showing purple with sleet right now, but I just was looking outside about two minutes ago, and it was a nice, heavy, steady snow falling. So, really, again, if it's not green, you could be seeing anything, and that's exactly what's happening, especially Pittsburgh to Chatham County. Holly Springs now starting to show uh, the mixed precipitation there. I just retweeted a tweet from a viewer uh, in Cary who said it were at it again in Cary. More snow falling on the western side of Wake County. Get down into the Sand Hills, and it's all green down there, and that's because it is switching over to rain. Let's look at our various cameras around the region. They really tell the story. You can see Durham right now. Snow again flying. The Durham Freeway is clear. Uh, it's there in the foreground, but blowing snow a problem. Winds have picked up now going about 15 miles per hour. Temperatures below freezing. If we go to Fayetteville, Fayetteville, you're still warm enough that this is a rain event. As we look into Cumberland County, you've dropped down to 34 degrees right now with a south wind at three. Looking uh, in Zebulon, Zebulon on the eastern side of Wake County, it's clear. You're not seeing anything. You can see the snow on the field there at Mudcats. How about uh, in North Hills? We'll head to North Hills, our camera there right now. And it's just showing relatively clear conditions every now and then you see a few snowflakes work through not snowing heavily in North Hills uh, North winds at nine miles per hour and RDU has really been taking the snow over the past half hour. Look at the heavier snow falling at RDU terminal two is covered and uh, look at the tarmac. The tarmac was wet this morning. Now the tarmac is completely snow covered. So if you were trying to fly out of RDU again today, you may have problems getting out. Uh, Flights have been canceled. They are were de-icing. There were planes here this morning. They got those out and got them de-iced, but now uh, visibility has gone down significantly out there. Live look into downtown Raleigh where snowflakes are just falling in downtown. 92% humidity, north wind at 7. Temperatures as we head into this wet hour. It's this 930. 930, we've dropped down to 30 right now in RDU. 32 in Sanford and Burlington. 30 in Roxborough. 28 in Oxford. 29 in South Hill, Virginia. Right where this temperature gradient is is where it's critical as that switches over and we see that colder air work in uh, we see more of it on the way look at the wind chills wind chills don't affect the snow or the frozen uh, they don't freeze anything it's just how it feels on us as humans and the wind chills have really picked up and dropped 23 in RDU and Sanford 24 in Burlington 28 in Oxford wind chill right now 21 in South Hill Fayetteville even though you're above freezing it feels colder than that 20 six degrees. Regional satellite radar perspective shows a wintry mess. You can see the back edge of the precipitation now working through the mountains. They will actually see the sun break out in Boone over the next couple of hours. We still have all of this part to rotate down through. Now it is starting to dry up here to the north and west. You can see that back edge starting to creep into North Carolina and I do think we will see some of that dry air work in as we head through the day. First alert predictor forecast model will run this ahead through lunchtime by two o'clock. We still could see some snow down east. It's still pulling that cold air into the warm air. Fayetteville, uh, I know you uh, into Johnston County and into Wayne County. Yesterday I heard from a ton of you saying we're not seeing anything and you aren't going to see a lot. But this afternoon, if that wraps that cold air in, certainly the potential is there to at least see a few snowflakes in the air. You won't see anything you got a shovel or that you can play in, but you might see a few snowflakes in the air and then it switches over. Now, this particular model does try to develop some snowflakes as it pulls out to between nine and midnight tonight. I don't think it'll be much. I think this is uh, kind of moot. The skies will clear out and then through the overnight hours, uh, the cold air will settle in and tomorrow morning is going to be freezing around here that low pressure system continuing to try and work out of here as it works its way out of here and pulls out of here. We'll see the temperatures across the region uh, starting to climb.